Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Tot Time. Before we shake our bean bags this morning, I just want to remind you, if you haven't yet registered for summer learning through Beanstack, please do so. We appreciate your support. And a special shout out to Kimbo Educational for allowing us to use their bean bag rock during the summer's tot times. So without further ado, staff will put on our masks and social distance and join you for the bean bag rock. It's time for the bean bag rock. You got your bean bags, everybody? Yay, let's shake. for joining me for the Beanbag Rock this morning. If you are ready for a fun story time about spiders, so am I. Do you guys know that rhyme about the itsy bitsy spider? You know, the one that climbed up the water spout? Maybe you could help me with that rhyme. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Yay! You can also do it by putting your pinky finger to your thumb and pinky to thumb and let the spider climb that way. Let's try that one more time. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up that spout again. Yay! Well, today I would like to share with you guys a story about the roly-poly spider. This story was written by Jill Sardinia, and I think maybe the roly-poly spider is cousin to the itsy-bitsy spider. But anyway, if you guys are ready for a story, here it is. This is the story of the roly-poly spider by Jill Sardinia. The roly-poly spider spun a sticky web Spun a sticky chair, two couches, and a bed. I'm lonesome, cried the spider. Please come and visit me. But the roly-poly spider was hungry too, you'll see. The 
the roly-poly spider was casting out a line. She hooked the little ant and asked him in to dine. Sorry, said the ant, I really cannot stay. But the roly-poly spider drank ant's juice that day. The roly-poly spider went down the garden lane. She met a caterpillar and asked him, what's your name? He said, my name is Lester and I'm as handsome as can be. Said the roly-poly spider, you look like lunch to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The roly-poly spider soon caught a bumblebee, but he was fighting bad, so she waited patiently. The more he fought, the more he stuck, the more she grinned with glee. And the roly-poly spider had bees knees with her tea. The roly-poly spider set out a picnic treat. Along came a ladybug who stopped to chat and eat. The time grew late, the treat was gone. She wanted to be fed. So the roly-poly spider ate up her friend instead. spider has a big appetite. The roly-poly spider cast out a silken thread, missed a skeeter's wing, zoop, and missed a sailbuck's head, zoop. At last her silken noose roped in a great big fly, said the roly-poly spider, you'll be my shoe fly pie. Roly-poly spider was looking for romance. She met a grasshopper and asked him for a dance. I'll teach you how to spin if you step into my web. But the roly-poly spider spun him in her web instead. The roly-poly spider went down the water spout, but after all she'd eaten, she was too fat to get out. 
stuck inside the middle. She was there to stay, said the roly-poly spider. I ate too much today. Holy spider wiggled in her stout. She wiggled and she waddled till she finally popped out. She looked up at the moon, then she yawned and settled back. So the roly poly spider, I need a bedtime snack. And that is the story of the Roly-Poly Spider by Jill Sardinia. Okay, the Roly-Poly Spider was a very silly, fun story. And I know a very silly, fun rhyme I'd like to share with you guys. It's about Little Miss Muffet, and it goes like this. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down on top of her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah! That's not how it goes. Huh. Okay, let's try this. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down in front of her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah! That's not right either. Ah. Okay, I think I've got it this time. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down behind her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah. That's not right either. Jeepers creepers. This has got to be it. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down underneath her ah! and frightened Miss Muffet away. That's not it either. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah! That was it! Yay! Oh, thank you guys for helping me out with that rhyme. That was tough. Hey, before we share our goodbye song, there were two more things I wanted to share with you guys. My dog Brogdon and I have been out all week long looking for spiders so you could see some spiders in their real habitats which a habitat is a place where somebody or something lives. And also, so I'm gonna show you those videos, but also I wanna show you the craft that we will be making today. It's a spider craft and you can see the spider has two body parts. It has the abdomen and it has the cephalothorax and a spider also has eight legs. And these legs are made of pipe cleaners and so you'll be stringing them through the holes and bending them so that they're really fun bendy legs they can walk and it's got a drag line attached so it can escape from danger. So you can call the Avondale Library at 226-4000 to reserve your craft kit and arrange for curbside pickup of it. And now I'm gonna show you some creepy spider videos. A spider is not an insect. It's an arachnid, like a scorpion or a tick or a mite. It has two body parts and eight legs. It doesn't have any antenna, but often it has eight eyes. Wow, that's a lot of eyes. It spins a sticky web that catches dewdrops as well as insects. 
this spider is waiting for an insect to come by so it can wrap it up in silk, inject it with venom that will turn its insides into liquid and then use its fangs like straws to drink that bug, a protein shake. This is an orb spider. It spins a circular web. Sometimes people call it the common garden spider, but it sits there waiting for an insect to come by. It's nocturnal, which means it does most of its hunting at night, and every day it eats up its old web before it spins a new one. It takes about an hour for an orb spider to spin its web. It looks like this spider right now is eating up the old silk from its old web so that it recycles that silk. A spider can make seven different kinds of silk when it spins its web. This is a funnel spider. It moves very quickly into the funnel if you caught that. But the um, funnel spider web is not sticky. The funnel spider pounces on its prey to catch it, then drags it into the funnel where it eats it. And the funnels are really sturdy, and so when a funnel spider moves out, it leaves its web for another spider to move into. You might think it's a cobweb, which is an abandoned web, but if it's a funnel web, another spider might just move in. Thanks for joining me for all this spider fun today. I just love spiders. But for now, it's time for us to say goodbye, goodbye. It's time for us to say goodbye, goodbye. It's time for us to say that we'll meet another day. It's time for us to say goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap those hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap those hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! It is time for us to say goodbye, goodbye. It's time for us to say goodbye, goodbye. It's time for us to say that another day. It's time for us to say goodbye. Goodbye. Stay safe out there.